All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Feeling the good. Why am I watching an advertisement on my own goddamn channel? What is this? What is happening? Anyway. Send help. When you have to watch advertisements on your own goddamn channel. It feels fucking good, man. Uh... Okay, so let's quickly run through all the apps and silhouettes. First up on the motherfucking shopping block, we have Lexaeus. Ooh, let me quickly run through my fucking equipment. So, since we last left off, we have reached level 99, obtained the ultimate weapon, and fucking pimped ourselves out. We are fucking set. Let me, uh, I don't think I need this high of, can I get away with this? I can, I can definitely get away with that. Uh, soldier earring, is there anything that gives me higher strength? Nope. Uh, okay. Everything's good there. We're gonna load ourselves up with high potions as well. Which, by the way, I do have a lot of. We were, I've been grinding shit. We also have Save the Queen, uh, which is one of Donald's best weapons in the game. Save the Queen Plus. We have Save the King Plus for Goofy, which is obviously one of his best shields. <clears throat> We're gonna load his pockets as well. So, yeah. Let's start off with Lexaeus. Let's check it out, boys. So, this is the guy people think of just pure power. Probably because he has a power mechanic in the fight. Basically, the way this fight works is that he's going to be constantly gaining power throughout the fight, which is going to increase the magnitude of attack. Not really his actual strength stat. We're going to immediately begin by using Mega Impact. The other benefit of him having such high power is the fact that our reflect I can be doing more damage. He has pretty predictable attacks. Alright, uh, I think it's called like Iron's Peak or something. He does hurt. Ah, right, we win. There we go. So if it wasn't clear exactly what I did there, I um, I used Donald's Comet to be able to survive his final onslaught of attacks. Because uh, he was kind of invincible there, because I couldn't actually finish him off for some reason, because uh, fuck me, am I right? But, we got him. Strike me on straight. This recipe that requires special materials and a lost illusion. Something unique to this game. I am the here, dude. Respect. I am also the here. Okay, uh, there's not one here. Not one there. There is one here, though. We're gonna go to the beast room. I'm gonna drop a save as well. <laughs> Where's your Twitch mod? Dude, you're right. Hit you with that young zappy zap, though. Ugh. Anyway, pretty boy Marluxia. This fight is gonna be the easiest one potentially in the game. His doom counter, as a reminder from the main game, he he will take away one every single time he hits you, and the counter is based on your level. I also just happen to be level 99. <laughs> Pardon me. 
So that means he has to hit me 99 times for him to kill me. I feel like I need to delay that a little bit. Hey, look, he's already halfway dead. I was afraid for him to do a different attack. That was kind of awkward. Yeah, level 99, this fight's pretty piss easy. <laughs> so that was my personal favorite way of dodging it because it's just so fucking stupid looking. Oh. Yes, man, it's done, Zoo. Oh. Oh, he's actually gonna fucking delay us. Alright, let me see if I can do the legitimate way of how to dodge this fucking attack. Oh, well, that looked fine. Oh, he actually didn't go into it, that's weird. Alright, fucking die, kid. So, the only re <laughs> well, what I was trying to do there is that I was trying to set up for, um,. His uh, like dark pillar attack because you can go into master form and and with its increased movement speed, uh, you can just survive everything. Challenge do the whole fight without getting hit once. That's what you're supposed to do on level one. But uh, I'm not good, so suck suck. Um, let's see here. Rampart. Uh. Now we go here. Oh, it's hella long at level one. But first, before we move on. Up, oh, and I suck. Feels bad. Okay, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Time, 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 time. Motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, try again, try again, try again. There we go. Anyway. Uh, yes. It's an ambush! What will we ever do? These guys can fuck, probably kick our ass, considering the fact that they fought us. Oh, Lori, see, this did all the, da all the damages. That's Twilight Shard, though. Anyway, next up on the chopping block is Lark Scene. This, her data form later on is the hardest fight in the game. This fight. This fight is easily the hardest absence of the wet fight, but it, now that I'm level 99, I probably shouldn't struggle, famous last words, as I somehow die at level 99. Um, I just don't understand how the fuck this bitch works. I really don't. I don't, I don't get it. She does things and then things happen. I don't get it. Just sit here and stand and reflect. Oh, fuck, she did the fuck the late shit. By the way, so basically. <laughs> Even though there's two Lark scenes, both of them are the real one. Gone. Both of them do damage. Yes, there is two of her. Uh, Rule 34 loves that aspect of her. Cloaked Thunder. That's actually one of the most important recipes in the game. Uh, so, can't wait to fucking forge that. Twincest? Yes, exactly. 
Uh, let's see here. I'm pretty sure I'm only missing one more. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm only missing one. <clears throat> do twin sets is win sets. You're entirely correct. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm actually going to see if I can do the cheese strat here. Let me find my bond of flame. Go to customize. Go to my X button and equip Firaga. <laughs> Dude, Kazon, that's what's that's exactly what's gonna happen once I get fucking Witch Nelly. It's gonna be great. The cat tells Shu the theme of Pirates of the Caribbean. She found it. Yeah, uh, I also I told her that I did the same exact thing when I was in uh, middle school. Very very hard themes to play, surprisingly. Well, surprisingly, the fucking perfection in every way, shape, and form. But anyway, Demix fight. He basically just copies data from you. Uh, oh, fuck me. Right, I'm gonna break the shield. And that's that's that. <laughs> so he's weak to fire. <laughs> uh, final form gives us a increase to our magic ability, and bond of flame increases our fire damage. I could have also equipped uh, equipment that would have increased our fire damage even farther. Um, so I could. So he really couldn't have done anything. Uh, I probably wouldn't have taken a hit if I would have had better equipment. But basically, yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> you you do fucking big boy damage. And we got another armor slot. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, really liking this right now. Let me double check. Ooh, yeah, we got another one. Uh, I mean, obviously, come on. <laughs> uh, you know, that's uh, god mode strats. Trust me, I'm gonna be doing the same exact thing when we get to uh, Data Vexen. Okay, so now that we've beaten every single uh, Absent Silhouette fight in the game that I can recall, uh, there's not one there. We already beat the one there. Already beat. All right, yeah, we got everything. Boys, it's time. Wrong one. All right, <laughs> try again. We're gonna save just so you guys make sure you guys see this fuck up. Uh, I'm just all filled with the fucking misclicks today, boys. Alright, back fuck up. Go to the correct place this time. <laughs> and I want to make sure I have... Do I have any? Ooh, not really liking that. Is there a Moogle in here? Why is there no Moogle in this? There should be a Moogle. Oh, uh, we, can, we can do it with this. With uh, seven high potions. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, I'm also going to be re-equipping my, uh, thunder. Poke damage is always nice. Anyway! Survey Roth! Now that we are over double our level that we were last time, beats me. Uh, I will now <laughs> feel even worse when uh, he shits on By me. The way, you three. Who are you? Well, Some of my favorite sure fucking jokes uh, that Smosh Games has ever done was that well, uh, I, I don't remember if they're reviewing seven or is like this you. game, but uh, he he's like, oh I wait, Sephiroth's a dude. Oh fuck, I really feel so bad about having poster of him in my room. <laughs> I'm like, do you respect? I you must be its chosen wielder. So what if I am? I wonder if it won't change its mind. Anyway, Sephiroth. This was the hardest boss in the game of the original version of Kingdom Hearts 2. So let's see what we can do. I'm not going to finish this combo. Because that would trick. Oh, I did that way too early. I'm not going to finish this one either. He would immediately retaliate. No, no. Ah! I'm just gonna heal the safe side. 
Ah, oh, dude. I thought he was going for something else. Yeah. Alright, he's now going to his enhanced power form. He is now mega devastating. Once again, not going to finish this combo. It would trigger his revenge value. Ah, uh, he's going to go for a um, Heartless Angel there. He might go for Meteor next. That's enough. What's up, baby? Can't escape me. What's up, baby? <laughs> you see, I'm not complete trash at this game. How'd you like that? That is Critical Mode Sephiroth. I admit you're very skilled. But apparently Cloud is the only one who can eliminate me. <laughs> Tell Cloud to come here. Tell him Sephiroth is looking to settle things. I only got hit five times. That's impressive. Not good enough, though. So, now we have to go find Cloud. Trophy earned. One wing angel. Beat Sephiroth. Of course, you can get that on any difficulty, so if you want the easy way of getting that, just fucking, um... Just do it on, uh, beginner mode. But as you can see, once, you've, once you're properly leveled, um, he's fucking piss easy. Like he, that used to be the hardest fight in the game. And he's a fucking insect in this game compared to the data fights. So now you have to find Cloud. What's up, dude? Have you seen Sephiroth? Did you tell him about Sephiroth? Why would you not tell him about Sephiroth? So, uh, uh, just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna try to see if I can do the fucking Terra Cheese strat. Ooh! We can also craft these, too. But we need these, immediately. The Shock Charms. Ooh, and Full Blooms. Completely forgot about Full Blooms, too. I also need these. I need the f I need the um, the plus version of the versions of them though, but I'm trying to show off all of these. So, a staff with extraordinary strength and great magic, not not better not better than State of Queen Plus. What can you get from all the lost illusions? What we just made, we can get a whole bunch of shit. So, let's go ahead and head back to the Dark Depths. Of course, I'm just doing this to speed up the process, because, I mean, we'd rather walk all the way there or just teleport. <laughs> but it's better than Ultima. Debatably, we're about to get a weapon better than the Ultima weapon. Message? Maybe. Sorry to keep you, Sephiroth. Oh my god, I can almost feel the teen angst. Cloud. You'll never let go of the darkness. Just uh shut up. Go ahead and take this as a teaser trailer to uh the 7 remake. You'll never let go of your past. Shut up. This is what the game's going to look like. Cloud, get it. Thanks, Ross. <laughs> Defeating me is meaningless. You know that more than anyone, Cloud. No matter how many times I fall, your darkness. The killing when Cloud is worse than the fight is several the fucking sword. Dude, no, it's because I'm a god. <laughs> Stay back. How can I? I want to help you. You 
can. He'll never let go of the darkness. He doesn't have to. He just needs someone to surround him. Look at that lip light. animation. <laughs> the darkness will be there, Sephiroth. But in a place you can't reach. Is that right? Let's see what this light of yours can do. <laughs> Look at how just <laughs> unimpressed he was there. <laughs> he just seems unfazed. Is that use of his for vagina? He needs somebody to surround him with light. I don't know, maybe. Cloud, you can have my light. Whoa. The light doesn't suit you. So he's gay. I just don't know. He doesn't know if he's gay or straight. Stop. Holy, he's going Super Saiyan. <laughs> What the ah! fuck just happened? <laughs> See Advent Children to find out the rest. <laughs> Do you think they made it back to their own world? I mean, they had to go start the remake, didn't they? <laughs> Cloud went to fight a great battle. To defeat the darkness inside him. Again. Yo, if Sora is what in a Super Boss now? in Kingdom Hearts, in mm. uh, well, if he's in Super Boss in 7 remake, I might be a little Guess upset. I'll keep looking. Got any leads? Don't worry. Animangst. <laughs> Animangst. I gotta go. Here. This is for helping me out. But wait. When did we help? <laughs> Fenrir. But maximum ground and air combos are decreased by one. That's the important part. Hey, whoa. Dude. The kids game. Quote unquote. Anyway. So, I, I've never actually done this method before. So I have no idea if it's actually going to work or not. Because I don't know anything about this fucking method. But, let's see here. Uh... Okay, take that off. Take that off. Take that off. Take that off. Pistures. Take that off. Powerful leaping attack. Hey, hold up. Let me Google something. I want to see something. I want to make sure I'm having the abilities correct. Okay. So let me um, take off. Gonna take off the majority of these, <laughs> dude. I'm, dude. <laughs> I'm trying not to get Jared Vogel here. <laughs> All right, damage control. Lucky, lucky, jackpot, draw, leaf bracer. We're gonna make sure we take off these. These are the most important things to take off, and then. Negative combo. Yes, that's what we need. All right. Yeah, we have a lot of free AP now. So, now that we've done this, we only need to survive the opening attack. And then be able to actually close in. Once we do that, we win. If I can keep up the chain. Okay. Now that we have done this, I will come back and do this legitimately if this works. Because I do not... I don't want to be known as the guy who does this and only this. I will show off this fight properly. I just want to see if this works. Like, for me. I also kind of want the trophy for free. <laughs>
I've already, you've already seen this cutscene, it doesn't really do anything, so. Okay. Oh my god, I didn't actually fight Kabul, that's annoying. I can't fucking hit him. Dude, the second I hit you, you're fucking done, though. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, if I could fucking... No, dude, because I legit only need to hit him. And it's fucking over. But apparently I can't hit him. Yeah, I did have a guard, so I don't know what the hell that was about. I was press I was definitely pressing square to guard. Anyway, but once I once I can actually land a hit. Hey, fucking goofy, wanna heal me? <laughs> That'd be great, bro. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, here we go. Fucking heal me, boys. Heal me, boys. Oh, I fucking messed it up. I actually messed it up. That's annoying. If you would actually let me attack, it'd be great. Goofy, Jesus fucking Christ! Do the thing! Alright, hold up. Hold up. Customize. Sora attack. Alright, go into the audience chamber just to fucking save this. Jesus fucking Christ. If these guys actually wake up, that'd be fucking phenomenal. I legit need to land one fucking hit. I can't. What the fuck happened there? Are you fucking for real? See shit. Jesus. I'm legit not even in that hitbox. Oh my god, I actually messed it up. I'm so fucking sad. Alright, but now I'm slowly figuring out how it works. I think I got it. Now just don't fuck it up. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty cheap method. Like It's pretty it's pretty scumbag. Hence I said I'm gonna come back and do this fight legitimately. I just wanted to show this off. All you need is negative combo and Fenrir.
What you want to do is you want to press circle and then immediately after you press it, immediately press X. You don't even need to touch the analog stick. Oh, I almost fucked it up. He can't even counterattack because he's just permanently CC. <laughs> right? <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. <laughs> it's that easy. <laughs> it's that easy. I really don't know why people say it's the hardest play of the game. It's pretty simple. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> that was bullshit. <laughs> That is the only boss in the game you can do that strategy with, but my god, is it fucking bullshit. Proof of connection. So what does that do? Trophy earned, lingering will. Let me, uh... Get rid of this shit. Proof connection. Let me uh, quickly re-equip all my abilities. So, our reward for that, we now have a crown on our head. And you can refight Terra as much as you want. So I'm gonna save that, because that was pretty fucking cheeky. So now, there's one more place for us to get to. I've already done a majority of this dungeon off-screen, because I had to in order to uh, get the ultimate weapon. But this is the Cavern of Remembrance. Basically just a place for you to actually mess around with your drive form abilities. You need level 7 on all of your uh, drive forms in order to do this dungeon proper. Uh, I have to go to... Which direction? I guess this one. No, no, it's the other one, it's the other one. I guess it's the other one. But, you basically, this is just a test of all of your, um... Abilities in terms of platforming. There are Heartless here as well that can fuck you up. So, you have to steer clear of them. The Heartless here are souped up. They do a fuck ton of damage and they have unique attributes. I can never do this one without actually going into Master Form. Give me souped up, dude. I'm already souped up. Alright, so now we're going to start encountering some of those souped up uh, Heartless. These guys aren't too much different. They're just a little bit beefier and do a little bit more damage. Air Pirates. These guys are pretty sure are immune to all magic, or some shit like that, but, um, everyone here does, is now immune to- ooh, these guys. These guys are immune to everything except for, like, combo finishers that have magic attributes or some shit like that. And only when they're, like, post-attack or something. Let's see if I can get a magnet. Yeah, you have to hit them while they're attacking in order to deal damage to them, or else they're just going to deflect everything. Yeah. See? So I highly recommend um, the square counterattack. Ooh, destroyers. These destroyers are probably the most dangerous enemy in the game. Yeah, back off. 
I'm actually just gonna ignore these guys because these guys can still kick my ass a little bit. By the way, Steam here does uh, kind of just force attack you whenever you pass by them, so they're just there to meme you a little bit. This room tests your ability with glide. So start gliding. And then finish it off with your uh, super jump. Alright, I have yet to go into this room, because this room is actually important. After a pretty distinct change of scenery and rising waterfalls, this is a gauntlet room. You will encounter three hordes of nobodies. Each with decreasing difficulty. I'm pretty sure all these nobodies are level 80, I think? Uh, did I not equip my fucking square thing? Oh, it feels bad, man. I can re-equip that. I'm pretty sure all these guys in this room are level like 80 or something. Oh yeah, I did, that's why I didn't re-equip it for my fucking support skills. Nobody's? Do you feel the same, man? Failsafe. What's up, baby? Oh fuck, I'll, I'll bite. What's up, baby? Yeah. It's over. There. Failsafe. This is it. Yeah. Ember Duff. So fights in this room do require that kind of uh, precision. They're only gonna get harder. I didn't re equip these up here. Fish plus, fish plus, air combo, air combo. Unequip negative combo, we need we don't need that shit. Air combo, air combo, air combo, combo. Where the fuck is my or do I re equip that? I guess I like, I guess I can't test that out when I'm done enemies. So let me quickly uh, back out of the room. And um So I can save those uh, settings. Don't worry, the hordes do not respawn. Once they're done, they're done. Second one right here. Snipers. Do not focus Berserker until he's the last one left. Because as a reminder, Berserkers will fuck you up. And they go into fucking their enhanced power shit really quickly. Oh, I, wow, I got everybody with that reflect. Can we just highlight all of it? Well, I mean, like, from what you guys have been trying to say, like, I, apparently I just need to fucking highlight this entire goddamn video. Alright, time for the hardest fight in the game, according to a lot of people. I think some of the upcoming boss fights are more difficult than this fight, but a lot of people think this one fight is harder than all the data fights combined, which I don't agree with. By the way, I have so much AP, I actually can't even use that anymore. Shout out to that. I'm gonna final form ready. I'm gonna be abusing the fuck out of Magnet right here. But I mean, like, I'm gonna upload the entire the entire stream anyway. Just do stop you, doodle, and Mickey, can you stop you? Uh oh. Uh oh, I didn't fucking. The one thing I don't like about Final Four is that you can't jump mid combo. Oh yeah, I forgot they're fucking immune to lightning. Let's keep the combo. 
We're going, boys. Gather. Gather. Ugh. I think this is the last guy right here. Now there's one more as well. Got him. <laughs> one hour long video plus six mid roll ads, dude. Is that the dream? I was thinking, like, as a joke, I should release a video where it's just 15 minutes of like a black screen explaining what the video is about and the video is just about there being like an ad every three seconds so that if you guys want to like before you guys go to bed you can just like have the video just going so every single time like you watch the video I'm getting paid like ten dollars anyway for our reward for getting here open up this chest lost illusion we're open this chest Garden of Assemblage. Garden of Assemblage? What the fuck is, does that mean? That doesn't even make any sense. What kind of fucking anime am I in? Whoa, that looks edgy as fuck. What the fuck is happening? <sighs> in this room, you can face all 13 members of Organization 13 in their souped up forms. Every last one of them. Larksy, fucking Luxord, Axel, uh, Lexius. No, that's not Lexius, that's fucking, uh, Lexian. Fucking Vexen, Zigbar, Zemnis, fucking, uh, the fuck was this guy's name? Z Zaldin, Lexius, fucking Syax, fucking Demix, Marluxia, and Roxas. Fuck this room. <sighs> These fights, in my opinion, specifically this bitch. Specifically this one. This is, in my opinion, the second hardest fight in the franchise. All only second to uh, Birth by Sleep's mysterious figure. But convenient. Gather. But that's not an issue for right now. That's for future suffering. For now, I have to grind full bloom pluses and uh, like shock. Charm pluses and all that shit. So let me go quickly go see what that will require of me. Hello, gentlemen. I see, uh, creations. Let me quick see this here. Shock charm plus. I can get that right now. Uh, what am I missing? Tranquil Manifest Illusion. Get some pot stickers, dude. But yeah, Shock Charms. Let me uh, pop in one of these right quick. Increases damage done by Thunder Base attacks by 20%. Considering how reliable Thunder is, pretty, pretty, pretty good. That being said, let me, uh, quickly, uh, let me, uh, do this right quick. All right. Now where's that hurt? So. In the future, we need to defeat all 13 of the fucking big boys. We need to rematch Terra. We need to do the Hades Paradox Cup which is 50 rounds of nine, level 99 enemies, and we need to do the Mushroom 13. 
there's still a lot we have to do, which we will worry about later. Boys, prepare for a podcast in the Discord. <sighs> but let's fucking do this shit. Let's see, a high rock thunder is more reliable. Kano okay, Hearts than is a flyer. <laughs> You're so right. <laughs> anyway, until next time, boys. Take it easy.